Taylor Swift is looking to shake up the legal world by asking a judge to reconsider moving to a jury trial over her Shake It Off hit song. The lawsuit was filed by songwriters Sean Hall and Nathan Butler, who wrote the 2001 song Ply Is Gone Play by 3LW. They contend that Swift pilfered the lyrics from their song, and while a federal judge denied Swift's earlier motion to dismiss, Swift and her lawyers are asking the judge to reconsider, in what is said to be a rare move only used when judges have made a clear error in their ruling, via billboard. The lawsuit was first filed by Hall and Butler back in 2017, contending that Swift stole their lyric, Playa's, They Gonna Play and Haters, They Gonna Hate from Playa's Gone Play and turned it into, Cause the Players Gonna Play, 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 Play. Play and the haters gonna hate, 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 hate. While Playa's Gone Play was a modest hit, peaking at number 81 on the Billboard Hot 100 singles charts in 2001, Shake It Off was a huge hit for Swift. The song debuted at number 1 on the singles chart in September 2014 and spent four straight weeks atop the chart. Shake It Off would ultimately spend 50 weeks on the Hot 100 tying Swift's You Belong With Me for her longest charting single. U.S. District Judge Michael W. Fitzgerald denied Swift's motion to dismiss the case on December 9, stating it needed to be decided by a jury of her peers. Even though there are some noticeable differences between the works, there are also significant similarities in word usage and sequence-slash-structure. He said. Swift's lawyer stated in a new filing that the judge made a critical error in his ruling, stating he failed to apply the extrinsic test where judges remove material that isn't covered by copyright, which he quotes from a high profile case involving Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. It is essential to distinguish between the protected and unprotected material in a plaintiff's work, the singer's attorneys contended. Doing so here leaves only this similarity, both works use versions of two short public domain phrases dash players gonna play and haters gonna hate dash that are free for everyone to use, and two other but different tautologies that plaintiffs claim share the same underlying general idea or concept, the attorneys added. The presence of versions of the two short public domain statements and two other tautologies in both songs, simply does not satisfy the extrinsic test they added.